Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. GamerPy, and this is part 5 of Minecraft. It has been quite some time since I've done any kind of recording at all. And so, um, <laughs> yeah, I have done a little bit of stuff while I was gone in this file, but not a whole lot, just stuff that I was doing while I was waiting for the uh, file to load. I've been quite busy this past month months, I suppose. Mostly working on school, as one can likely imagine. I'm going to start by fixing the mega elevator here. So I do actually have quite a bit to talk about from my time gone, such as the fact that uh, I went to see wreck it Ralph when it came out, and that was a good time. That was great movie, I recommend it for everyone, though it's it's been a while, so it might not be in theaters at this point, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, um, working on college, of course. That, um, I don't think I actually did that well. To be honest, it was, um, tougher than I expected. I think this first semester kind of kicked my butt. Not very good. I'll certainly try to do better th than this, this next semester, though. I've got a better feel for what's ahead, I think. Taking out the door to make the, uh, the area more orderly, of course. I'll have to make some more glass. Yeah, did I bring my ladders down here? No, I didn't. I guess the better question is, do I even have any more ladders at the... at hand? I'll have to check that. Yes, I do have a few more ladders. Right. But I don't have any more glass, so it's time to make some more of that. Oh, more iron. I'll probably start making some stuff out of iron pretty soon. I do have a nice collection of 40 on hand. Uh, yeah. Still got a lot of clay, but I just haven't been finding enough flint to work with. Or, well, not flint, um, wood. Wood to work with. Right, let's put another couple in here. That should be good. So that'll be burning. Um, Alright, I think I know what I'm going to make with this iron. Alright, so first thing is first. I'm going to want an iron pickaxe. I'm not going to be using it for anything right now, but it'll be helpful later on. Next, let's make some iron armor. Get one of these. One of these and one of these. There we go. Full set of iron armor. Very useful. It'll protect me from damage. And I need that, especially in this ridiculous cave that we have. Ooh. And now, as you can see, um, on the left-hand side, next to my health meter, I have an armor meter, which shows, um, well, how much armor I have. So how about we head down here, start getting to work on this cave. I need a sword, don't I? I don't have a sword. Of course. Darn it. Yeah, it has been forever since I've recorded anything, so I figure I better practice with a little bit of Minecraft before I get back to actual important projects. I better actually get some of this stuff organized, because I don't want to bring all my iron down there. 
Got a bunch of sand. I was clearing out that big area in the front. I'll keep the dirt, keep the wood. Alright. Let's head on down. Hopefully just find some more coal. I'll need to fill that in at some point, but not right now. Oh my gosh, right away. No you don't. There we go. Gee whiz, probably spawned right here. Whoa, no, it spawned back there. Oh my gosh. I can hardly believe it. Oh no. Oh no! This is just ridiculous. I mean, really, guys? Really? Oh no. I can't see where I'm being attacked from. Nope. No, you don't. Okay, maybe I'll get a break from the monsters real quick so I can actually do something. Nope. Alright, let's go down here a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so dark, I cannot see anything. It's so big. This cave is too big. All right, well, hopefully I've made at least this little area safe enough so I can actually dig some. Some materials out of here. Whoa! Let's just quickly make a few torches. And by a few, I mean 20, I suppose. Whoa. Yeah, that's a little bit of an odd thing about these menus, is that sometimes if you go all the way down on the menu, it'll take you to the top. Oh no, I am not going up there. That's just asking for trouble. I hear so many noises nearby. Oh dear. And that is a creeper. A creeper that I do not want to be dealing with. There we go. Nothing so far. Hmm. Not that bad so far, actually. 
I'm surprised. Especially considering the nature of this game. Okay, so this pathway has been dug out. We figured it out. There's some nice iron down here, too. I am most certainly grateful that I made some iron armor before this exposition. Exposition. If I hadn't, I would undoubtedly have taken up more than one part of damage. Also, the creepers seem to be more cooperative lately. I don't know why, but I'm not going to question it. Creepers want to be more cooperative? That is their prerogative. Perfect. Huh. Is this another pathway up here? It certainly is. Well, I don't think I'll be going that way quite yet. Let's go down this way. Let's stick to this wall so I don't have to get close to those zombies and such. Cave just keeps going on and on. And while I am finding many resources, I'm not finding enough. Whoa! Arrows. Not snakes and arrows, just arrows. I left a bit of coal down here. I don't want to do that. I need all the coal that I can get. Hmm. I am sensing trouble down this way. Or not. There's no trouble at all. There's just iron. A lot of iron, actually. I am going to be able to make so many iron things. And coal. That's what this expedition is really about, of course. I have been having coal problems since episode one. Maybe that won't be quite so much the case anymore. That's a skeleton. I'd rather not be. There we go. Obviously, this still isn't the safest of places. Some enemies can spawn in a few areas. But 
it's at least a little bit better. Fell down there. Darn it. Skeleton's up there. problem is that I can't see his arrows. It's a problem on the Xbox 360 version, it seems. Oh. I'm gonna need to make some more torches. Oh, that's better. Hmm. That's an area that I've already explored somewhere down there. Ooh! Very good. All of this cave exploration. I told you guys that we'd have some. Never know what's gonna what you're going to find around the corner. I know that at one point uh, there was actually an error in the coding of the game and having it on easy mode would actually have enemies spawn more often. Um, I don't know if that's the case in this version that I'm playing right now. But, um, considering how often we've been finding enemies, I wouldn't really be surprised. Uh. Right. Still more to bring to light. Okay, well, this is the end of this. then leaves this part of the game. Which is not spawned anything, it seems. Okay, good. Now. So, the game that I've been trying to play lately is Paper Mario Sticker Star. Now, I'm a big fan of the Paper Mario series, but, but honestly, I think this is the least impressive entry so far. Um, basically, to give you an idea of what the gameplay is like, imagine an RPG where you only have one character, um, the plot is minimal, especially for an RPG, and the only way that you can attack or upgrade your abilities is through items. Like, you, you find out items on the ground, and then they're, they're always attack items, unless they recover your health. No, any, nothing like mana or flower points or special points or anything like that. Just, just items. And you have limited item space. That, oh, and, and there's no automatic organization of items. If you want your items organized in some way, you have to do that manually. 
and I don't, I don't like Sticker Storm. I mean, I liked Super Paper Mario, you know, I did a Let's Play on that game, and I enjoyed, well, I still think it's my worst Let's Play that I've ever done, but I still like the game. But, uh, Sticker Storm, no! from up there. Well, I'm just going to ignore you. Oh my gosh, no. Come on, just make it a little bit further. There we go. Okay. I'll get some class to fill that. Alright, well that was a very solid exploration. Okay. Let's move this. So it's cobblestone, cobblestone, iron ore. Right, so I got 49 pieces. Eight pieces of coal should do most of that. Uh, where to put everything else? I got another piece of gunpowder. Got some bones. Still have to cook the meat. Alright, here. I've, now that I have some more glass, I can fix some of this stuff up again. Actually, have these windows on eye level. Oh, he sure is over there. You stop. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Uh, you are such an annoying creature. There. Wow. Okay. Normally I'd have the torch on the other side of the door, but in this case, I kind of need to make an exception. I might start building up again soon. Hmm. I need to consider some things. What do I do next? Explore outside a little bit more. I could try to de dig deeper through the me meg elevator, or I could try to explore upwards. Or I guess I could keep um, going down through the cave system. Many different options are available to me. Nice little view of my home out there. You can see that I've been um, working 
on getting rid of, rid of these big blocks of sand. What time of day is it? Can't quite tell. Well, the sun is over there. Um, looks like it's going to set pretty soon. I could try taking down some trees. I'm sure that I need the wood, but wait, do I have an axe? No, I don't have the one. There we go. That's the thing about forests, is that sometimes they actually become dark enough so that enemies can spawn in the daytime. And that can be a serious problem. Though, in this case, it's not because of the forest, it's because it's becoming nighttime. And I need to get back into my home. Wait, 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 wait. The door is still... No, it's not still open. So it's sleepy time. Radio then. Oh, hey, there's a cave over here. Nice little miniature cave. With coal. My most required resource. Oh, there's my other pickaxe. Gee whiz, I get all the way over there. really should heal up. <laughs> For a second I thought that the grass was a creeper. I mean, creepers are grass monsters. I really hate these kinds of trees, because they always grow their wood off to the side. And really high, too, so it gets very complicated in chopping them down effectively. Oh! Well, folks, um... It looks like we're about done here. So... I'm going to just head back to the house, 
and I think I'll call it a fit. So, I'll see you folks later. Everybody have a great day.